Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, DIY mods and stuff is about mods, which means modifications, you know, making things work your way, uh, DIY, do it yourself, um, working on cars, working on your home, home improvement, um, gadgets, software, life hacks, what have you. So getting uh, straight to the point, this is uh, Amazon Fire Stick 4K. So I usually currently, use a Android Nexus box to, you know, watch YouTube and watch my live streams and what have you, but it's getting old. So I said, let me give this a try. Now, when I try to set up my Ethernet USB 3.0 hub, there's the Ethernet port, um, with my wireless keyboard, because the controller that they give you for this is very limited. You have to scroll back and forth and what have you. So I try to, connect my USB 3.0 Ethernet hub using my OTG cable, here we go, and then I plugged it in here in the micro USB port, um, it didn't work. And I soon discovered that in order to get this to work, you need an OTG host cable, which is an OTG cable just like this, but it has an extra connection, a male USB plug, so you can power your external devices for it to work. However, because I like to make things work and I like to make them work right away, yes, I could go on Amazon and buy the OTG host cable, but guess what? You know what? I needed to get this to work right away because I wanted to make a decision whether I'm gonna keep this or not. So what I did was I made my own cable to make this work without having to get the OTG host cable um, or I might decide to get one later. So I'm going to explain to you what I did. I have a cable that I use to upgrade the firmware on my Nexar Android uh, box and it was pretty much just an extension cable like this one. But what I did was I converted it and don't mind the black tape, uh, I'll explain why that's there. Um, I converted it into a stri straight through or a pass through cable um, to modify my Nexar um, Android box, which there's a video if you look for it, I'll have it in the description of how I was able to do this. And all I did was I took a cable just like this one. Let me clear this out for you. I took a cable just like this one. See, it's just a, it's, it's just a USB extender. And I took a needle nose pliers and I grabbed the metal piece from here and I pulled it out and then it left me with this. Now the drawback is that when you plug this in, it's not firm. See, it comes off, it's loose. That's why the black tape is there to keep it in place and uh, make it work for my purpose and for my needs. So how, what did I do to make this work? Okay. When I tried to plug the hub to the fire stick and I plugged it in, not only did it not recognize the ethernet port nor the USB uh, hub, it said that there wasn't enough power. So obviously th that's where the OTG host cable comes into play because you can plug in the Amazon fire stick power supply and it will give it enough power. So, you know, it dawned on me that if I can provide power to the hub, then it's gonna work. So how did I accomplish this? Well, how does this work? Well, the first thing you need to know is what I did was I plugged in my regular OTG cable into the hub and I plugged this end directly to the fire stick, like so. Because if you plug this end directly to the to the power supply, it's not gonna work. It's gonna power your Fire Stick, but it's not gonna detect the mouse or the USB ports or the Ethernet port. So you plug in your OTG cable to your Fire Stick, and then you plug in your hub into the OTG side of the cable, and then you plug in this end into the hub 
And finally, the end of the cable goes into the power supply. Let me show you so you could see it working for yourself. Okay, so here we are at the TV. And we're gonna plug in the fire stick into the TV itself. Here we go. HDMI port. And as you can see, the fire stick. And then we have the little OTG going into my Ethernet hub. And then I'm going to plug in the, the pass-through cable from here to the power brick right here. Now, for this for purpose of this video, I am going to attach bec only because this part right here is... Um, it comes off of the USB port because it doesn't have the metal shield around it that keeps it, not only does it protect it, but it keeps it sug snugly plugged into the USB port. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use this one right here. It's, it's, it's another USB extender, it's just a short one. Let me just show you a real quick button right here. Okay, so this is it. I'm just gonna plug it in there and use the tape that you saw. Let me just position the camera. I'm trying to walk and talk here. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this in here and only use the tape to keep it nice and secure inside the socket. Otherwise, it's gonna come off and you're not gonna get the correct, you could short it or worse. Okay, so here we go. This is the black tape that I was mentioning. Right now, I just have this for uh, purpose of demonstration. So, as you can see, it's a straight through cable. See, there's, there's nothing attached. Um, now I'm going to plug this end. This end is going to go into, it doesn't matter really, it's gonna go into the hub, and then one end is gonna go into the, uh, the power supply. So I'm gonna plug this part first to the fire stick. Here we go. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna stand up. As you can see, there's no trickery here. That's the fire stick, the OTG cable, the ethernet, USB 3.0 hub, and I'm gonna plug this in here. I'm gonna plug it into the hub, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you, before I plug in, I, I give it power, I'm gonna show you the TV, okay? So let's plug it in, and let's go to the TV. There it is. That's the setup, see? Fire stick, OTG cable going into my USB 3.0 Ethernet hub. Ethernet hub, the cable going straight to the brick. This is just another USB extender that I use to secure the connection because it's missing the piece and it's going in there. If you can find a male to male cable, that would be even better. But I was trying to show you guys what I needed to do at the moment. Now, will this work as an OTG? Let's see. Here we have my trusty AnyWish keyboard. Now look at the top. I wanna to show you, there's no trickery here. I'm gonna to move to the right. Now let's do a search. Will those keys work? Let's see, let's do a search. Okay, there's a little search button. Click search. I'm gonna type in, hello. Well, not from here, somehow it doesn't. Let me see. H. So from here, H, how can I do this without? You guys can see H, E, L, L, O, and we hit enter. Sorry, back. And then we go and we scroll and we hit OK or enter. Hello, there you go. And you can scroll and select. We go to the tube, YouTube. Okay, I uh, have not downloaded it, but as you can see, 
The little hack works. So, in conclusion, if you want to attach your keyboard, your USB keyboard or mouse to your Fire Stick, you plug it in. I'm gonna unplug it. You plug it in to your OTG cable, and then you plug in your device, which is your hub, into the OTG cable, and then you connect it to your power brick. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please comment or ask below. And again, this video is in no way sponsored. Plug this back into the TV. This video is in no way sponsored. Any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Um, I hope this helped. It works for me because it, it saved me waiting two days for Amazon Prime to, to deliver an OTG. There you go. Love that. An OTG host cable. Um, if that's a solution that works for you, then, you know, and I'm sure this, this, this could apply to other uh, devices. So like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Watch my other videos here with other hacks. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.